Hey, uh, Tool Talk here. We are going to not spend so much time today on the Jeep. Sorry, my Jeep followers. Uh, but guys are fans of tools. Um, if there's nothing more uh, satisfying than hanging out in your Jeep, it's also grilling out food. Uh, I purchased this about a year ago from a friend who was moving off of uh, Guam, but salt has just eaten away the salt water in the air, it's just eaten away the hardware inside here. And we are going to take all of this apart and revamp it uh, with some new hardware. So I will show you how to do that. So that we could access the rails. Uh, there are pieces that are supposed to go between these rails that carry the gas through to ignite the rest of the burners as they're turned on. But that uh, had disintegrated over time from the salt water and this grill is only a year old uh, or two years old. It's a charbroil performance grill. And we're going to um, rebuild and, and put this together. So I just want to make a real quick video on uh, how to shop for the parts, get the right things ordered, and uh, fix this problem. These you'll measure them from the back to not just the front, but there's a tab down inside here. You'll go all the way past that. It looks like we have the 16 and a half inch um, parts. So we're going to buy a 16 and a half inch kit. While this kit does not actually um, annotate that it is 16 and a half or uh, close to 17 inches, it is. Um, sold that way on Amazon so that's what you'll search for and this is the kit and how it comes in the mail. Parts that are included are the covers, the uh, gas distributors, then these tubes that carry the gas between the, the tubes and I'll assemble that and show you how that works and then we'll uh, just take out the old parts and put in the new. It comes with uh, a, hardware, a hardware package as well and everything's included. All stainless steel. All right, so now that we got all the parts removed, we're going to take our new igniters. It came with four of these. Uh, this grill only needed one. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attach that to the back side of the bottom of this first rail. And there is a particular order this goes in. All right, so that just pushes on and clips. If you have to, you can kind of squeeze those little metal tabs tighter and it'll sit on the bottom. And this has to go in a particular order. So we're gonna put this one in first to show you get over to the grill I need to feed the wire into this hole and I gotta make sure it goes through the outer hole too just like that the gas tube goes over that fitting so you'll slide it in, line it up, it just drops in, and then put that tab in. We'll do that for the rest of them. I also, uh, when I did all this, I went ahead and replaced this, but since we're making the video, I'm gonna show you just how to replace this uh, part as well. You're going to unscrew this cap. That's where you replace the battery. It's a triple A. You set the part up here, and then there's a nut back here, and it's pretty much hand tight. I mean, if, there, if you need a pair of pliers in here, it, I mean, most household pliers will work for this. Just unscrew this part, and kind of hopefully keep it from 
All right, so I'm gonna just drop that piece while I'm holding the camera. And this comes out of the back as one unit. So this is a, there's a metal casing around it, just slips inside there. So this is a brand new part. And there is the part number. You'll slip that into the case. Just kind of kind of like a puzzle. You'll have your two contacts right there. This is for the Charbroil performance grill. Uh, just reaching up under here. You'll see that the, the hole is right there. Line that back up, it slides right in there. And then go to the front. Line the front up. Just stick it in there. That will get you that far and then you just put your the plastic nut back on here okay and then finally just put your wires back in to the new unit I'm gonna tuck this one kind of up under the the rail here and push that on just like that We'll just put our double A with the positive out. Screw the cap back on. And then we'll test the igniter. Now if you can see that in the camera. Remove these pins. We're gonna need them off for what we're going to do next. So we covered these uh, these flame propagators over on the other table and what you're doing with these is you're putting them upside down kind of like that. It carries the flame along the rail. You want to make sure they're all facing the same way. I'm going to put these because some of the flame will come out of here and it can be your hot, uh, your highly like you can change the degree of temperature on this end by having them facing the forward end and all your grill heat coming out of these will be right here so you can sear your meat on this end of the grill and you can move it back here to cool it So because there's going to be a little more gas and flame that comes out of here so this propagates the flame from the starting the starting rail which is right here so start that and then as you start the other burners it will propagate the flame into the next burner what these also allow you to do is have a little opening so I can put that forward facing and then my flame will come up. You can also flop, flop them to the other side and then have your flame come up the other way. But I like to keep the meat that I'm going to sear right here in the front rather than maybe moving it back to the middle a little bit because the flame is going to come out of the front end rather than the rear. Uh, and that's personal preference I think. Uh, and then on to the next part we're going to put the cotter pins in. And finally, no, in no particular order, I'm just going to slide these in. I'm going to have them go in to the slots right here and line them up and drop them in. All right, so let's ops check it. Turn the gas on. Make sure your, your gas is on under the grill. So we turned it on down here. And then the first burner, or the second burner, excuse me, it's going to go on to full, and then we're going to hit the, the start button. So we got a nice start on that one, nice and easy. Let's start the next one. So just turn the knob on this one. After the gas flows, it should just come right up. Give it a second. All right, it ignited. It's hard to see with the sunlight. I can hear it. All right, we'll start the next one. And it is lit. And then the final one. We go over here to light. And it's lit. So we got four burners going. Looks like it's ready to go. Uh, we'll just, lastly, we're just gonna put our, our old grating back in. It's still, it's still in good shape. I've power washed it a couple of times, get it clean. 
and uh, we're just putting panel in by panel. Model grill, uh, this is what we have left over in parts. There are uh, some flame propagate, uh, propagation uh, for other, other units. This one didn't require that. This is a four burner um, charbroil, uh, but it has everything I need already included in what I just showed you. So the rest of the parts, don't be afraid if you have things left over, toss them in the box, throw them away, keep them, whatever you wanna do. Um, but we are cooking with gas. It is the start of fall uh, here in the season. And like Guam, many of you live in warm climates and I remember even cooking on the grill in the snow in Colorado. So uh, this is actually, I think, a good time to go ahead and do some maintenance on your grill. Uh, get it ready for the fall and the winter, do some cooking out here. Uh, get some different things ready for uh, the season and hopefully you guys found this interesting if you like tools jeeps uh, working with your hands grilling anything like that um, click like and subscribe and i'll get you another video i like to, to put these together and get your guys ideas and uh, hopefully you found this uh, helpful thanks guys